This is Mr. Sinclair. I'm going to review a few Google Slides basics for you guys as you do your newsletter. The first thing I'm going to go over is text boxes. This is a template that's already been made for you. So I'm going to go over the, the text box. The first one up here, if you double click, it's a special text box. So you have to double click on it and it pulls up the newsletter and you can change the title to SciCamp or whatever you want and it will change it once you hit return. You have the same thing with the date. You can go ahead and do that lead story, second story, all of those things, you're gonna change these are text boxes. If you need to adjust the size of the text box, I will remind you, grab one of the corners, get an arrow and pull it down or pull it out to the corner if you need to make it bigger. Your choice, because you're gonna have a little bit of artistic freedom on this. So that's the text boxes. Images, we have some pre preset images in here. You're gonna to need to replace them with things that represent Science Camp. The way to do that is click on the image and then up on the top you hear it says replace image. Click on that and it'll give you options. Hopefully you've already downloaded something to your drive or you have a URL on another tab. So if you have a URL you'll cut and paste it here. And the other option is you can always search. So if I look up a banana slug, it's going to find an image for me. I'm on slow internet so it might take longer than it will with you at school. Hopefully it moves a little bit faster. There's a banana slug. I click on it. I select and it will replace the image eventually. Here we go. It's almost there. We'll pretend it's happened. It'll show up while I'm talking. The other thing you can do, all the shapes are already pre-made as uh, rectangles. If you want to change the shape, go up here to the top of the toolbar up to mask image and you can change the shape. If I want it to be a circle, boom, it's a circle. And again, you can change it to make it larger if you have more space. Again, your choice. You are the author of this article. So that's one of the things that you can do. Another thing, I'm going to go to the second page. And you'll notice the background on this is a forest. It's the background. So if you want to change it, click background. And you can change it to a plain color. Or again, you could do something where it's an image that represents something from Science Camp. So you just click Choose, and we're going to go through the same slow process. I'm going to search for a banana slug again. Why not? So we're going to look for a banana slug. Um, there's two. If you went on a hike with Miss Trippy, I'm sure that means something to you. Select, Done, and you'll see the background change to the banana slugs eventually. There we go. The trees look better. So if you do that and you're like, I don't like that image as much, you can always go undo, which is also control Z. Okay. If you need to add another page, last thing I'm going to show you before I log off, I'm going to click on the right. And now you see over here where my cursor is, that page is now highlighted in blue. You're going to hit control C to copy and then control V and it will add another page and you can change it and tweak it as you need if you go beyond four pages. Hopefully that is helpful enough. If you need more help, Mr. T would love to help you. Yes.